forward to the cloud. Hi, so happy, <laughs> what is day is it? Wednesday. Um, I'm really excited today. Um, we have a very special guest. Christina Delgado um, is speaking to us today about the vital process and creating belief for yourself, which is obviously going to be a huge part of 2017. Um, she is a superstar diamond coach, a million club member. Um, she's a member of the coach advisory board, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's a big, huge deal. There's like four or five coaches on it. Um, a success club, 10 legend. And I, I, she didn't give me the stat, but I'm pretty sure she's a five time elite coach. Is that right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I for totally forgot to add that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of amazing. Like huge, yeah. huge deal. Mm -hmm. If you guys were at summit, you saw her speak on the big stage, um, with her sister. And I remember, I actually remember something she said about the election and my husband actually I told him you were getting on the call and he was at summit with me and he said oh yeah I remember her she's the one that told us that no one was gonna save us and we had to save ourselves." and I was like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she, <laughs> she did I was impressed <laughs> that's right so um, I'm really excited I had posted in a leaders board if anyone wanted to switch calls and she offered and so amazing Here I am. Yeah, so um, I will <laughs> take it away, and I have my pen and paper, and we can roll. Thank you, Jillian. It's a super honor to be on this call with you guys. Um, I love doing calls like this for other teams because I find that I feel most fulfilled when I help people reach their full potential or at least start believing in themselves to start making change in their life. And so whether it's my team or someone else's team, I hope that at least something that I say tonight, you'll take away and um, start implementing, whether it's in your personal life or in your business, so that you can start taking a, a step forward um, and start seeing results, the results that you want to achieve. Um, that is why I love this business, because it gives me the opportunity to have that kind of outlet and that reach. Um, and so it's really special to me, but I'll start before I start talking about belief, which is, I told Jillian, one of my favorite topics to talk about, because I'm not really good at teaching stuff, like how to, you know, do things. I'm more of a kind of a conceptual belief motivation. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I love to express that you can do it. It's just a matter of connecting the dots between your intentions and your activities. And so that's what I want to do today. But before I get there, I want to share my story for those of you guys that are newer to Team Beachbody, um, a condensed version, because I can share for like an hour or I can do five minutes. So I'm going to do the five minute version of my story. But before Beachbody, I was an attorney. I practiced medical malpractice defense in Miami, Florida. That's where I live, born and raised. My parents are uh, Cuban. They came from Cuba. Um, in the 60s and literally worked their way, um, have the, Amer you know, the American dream story. And they had my sister and I, who they raised to have incredible work ethic and drive um, to be successful. I have a degree in business management, went on to law school and literally graduated at the top of my class, was one of the few that landed a great job at a great firm and everything was wonderful. I got pregnant with my daughter Marley about five years into my marriage and it was at the exact time when the U.S. economy completely just collapsed and you guys all experienced that alongside with me. Um, it was one of the darkest times in my life because here I was, I was an attorney who from the outside looking in you would think had it all together right? You would think, you know, had this income that would be sustaining through this crisis. Um, but I was pregnant. My husband was in real estate. So he lost that whole side of our income was gone in virtually one day. In one day, it was gone. And we were left with a house we couldn't afford with credit card debts up the wazoo because despite having all this money from the real estate boom we were spending money like if we were gazillionaires which we weren't um so we racked up all this credit card debt plus my law school loans we found ourselves dead broke hardly able to survive month to month and pregnant <sighs> it was hard um and it was during my pregnancy with my son that my sister popped in the DVD of P90X that my best friend had lent to her. 
and it was like the start of this whole thing. She got in amazing shape. Um, and then she stumbled on the business opportunity and literally from day one knew that she was going to help her, her own situation because she was also in financial, in financial crisis as well with this opportunity. She, she had set a goal of, of earning $50 a week with this opportunity. And back then you guys, we didn't have challenge packs. We had two flavors of Shakeology. Um, we were really limited on what we could share. We were afraid to share P90X and Insanity because they were such hard programs. So we really were just selling Shakeology. And to hit Success Club, you had to share five bags of Shakeology a month and sponsor a coach. So we really understood how to hit Success Club early on. And so she got involved in the business fast and then got me involved. I didn't want to do the business at all. Um, I was, I had this um, kind of these preconceived notions of network marketing that, you know, weird people did that and I didn't want to host home parties and I had a career and I need to focus on important things. And then she took me to an event, which was Super Saturday, the first ever Super Saturday. And that's when my eyes opened to this possibility. I realized that by that time, I had lost 65 pounds with Shakeology basically alone. You know, I've, you know, I had baby weight to lose, and you know, that kind of comes off quickly. But I got into incredible shape. Like, if you look at my transformation pictures from back then, they, st they blow my mind of what I was able to accomplish with an infant at home and a toddler. Um, it just goes to show like when you want something bad enough you just freaking do it and I did it and then I said at that event I'm like you know if I've been blessed so much with you know the way that I feel and the way that I look and this whole new outlook on life I should pay that forward and so that's when I learned about success club and um you know bringing coaches into the opportunity and that was the day my business was born there have been many 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 ups and downs I bet Jillian can share 85 war stories of this business and ups and downs in the business. Um, but at the end of the day, what we do is absolutely incredible. It is, I, and I know you guys have, you know, the, 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 the story of Jillian's accident and coming together and, and, and what the community can do. And those are the things besides the financial part of this business those are the things that matter right that we have now this outlet to have this amazing community of people that help and that love and are kind and have an elevated way of thinking and aren't caught up in negativity and we just become better people we become better parents we become better spouses we become better at everything because of personal development and to me that is so special that is absolutely so special and with that creates belief right creates belief so i'll talk about that in a second but you know today six and a half years later um, i was able to retire from the practice of law be home with my kids we paid off my law school loans all of our credit cards and we just paid off our mortgage on our house which was a big, huge freaking deal because if you know Miami, you know it's expensive to live here. Um, so we did that and all because of Beachbody, all because of Beachbody. And I want to talk to you about belief tonight. Um, obviously, the vital process is something that is absolute, absolutely critical to our business, to having a solid foundation. But I truly 100% believe that the book starts and stops with the belief system in your body, in your mind, in your heart, every single day, every time you wake up, do you believe? And I'm going to break down where that belief comes from and the different kinds of belief that I personally think are critical for success in this business. And I will reiterate, a lot of people say, you know, look at Christina and all that she has accomplished in this business. I said, I said this at Summit, I say it on every call. My definition of success is complete, can be completely different from yours. The way that I have set goals and, 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 and work towards my goals, they don't necessarily have to be your goals. 
Yes, I will ask you to dream big and, and, and work towards things that you never possibly thought you could, could achieve or imagine in your life using this opportunity. But that doesn't have to be, you don't have to define success by hitting a certain rank or hitting this or doing that. It is what makes you happy, what brings you joy, okay? So never, ever, ever forget that because then you're always going to be chasing something, right? And you don't want to. You want to find fulfillment in the, in the process of this business. So belief. Belief is absolutely critical. And I believe that there's four, um, four different areas of belief that you need to either bring out or find and then talk about a lot and reinforce in order to move your business forward. The first one is belief in our products. And that's simple, right? It is absolutely simple to have belief in our products because you get belief in our products by doing what? Working out every day, drinking Shakeology every day. You guys, I will just stop right here and tell you that everything I say, you might have heard before. You might have heard before and you're not going to find anything completely mind blowing from what I say, but sometimes you're just not ready to absorb that information, right? And you have to be open to absorbing that information. So while sometimes you've heard this before, you got to be a product of the product, right? You got to be proof the products work. We say that all the time. Sometimes you block that because you don't think it's that important. There must be some secret. She's not sharing what she does. I don't believe that just drinking Shakeology every day is gonna get me from point A to point B. While it's not, it sure is necessary. So what I'm telling you is I'm reinforcing that, that thing of, of absolutely falling in love with what we do and, and with what we do it, which is our tools. You know, mastering the 21 day fix nutrition plan, doing programs start to finish, doing the ultimate reset, three day refresh, drinking Shakeology every day. Don't just say you're going to do something, actually execute on it. Be a challenger every single day. Just as if it was day one from the day you messaged your coach and say, I need change. Have that kind of mentality every day. And yes, you're going to slip up. Yes, there's going to be ups and downs in this journey. This is a lifelong journey. Of course, you're not going to be perfect all the time. But if you are consistent in your efforts, what that does, guys, and I can't stretch, stress this enough, you build trust in the people watching you. And if you're going in and out and falling off track and then coming back in and then talking about that, I'm not, I'm not saying be a phony, but if you're, you know, oh, fell off track again, got to go, you know, back on, or man, I gained 30 pounds, you know, whatever it is. And talking about that on social media, guess what you're doing is you're lessening your trustworthiness. Is that even like accurate? I don't even know if that's appropriate grammar, but you're, you're not being trustworthy to the people that are following you. I'm going to say this and it's very important. What we do as health and fitness coaches, um, are you, it's usually, and just think of your story. You've probably done a million things to lose weight and get healthy. Probably a gazillion things that some healthy, some not healthy, and everything in between. And this was probably one of those Hail Marys, right? I'm just going to try this thing and see if it works for me. Guess what? We are a lot of people's last resort. So if you aren't showing up every day and being consistent, then you're not going to be a very good coach to so that person that is coming to you and saying, this is my last resort. I need help. You need to help me, right? You need to inspire them by your word and by your actions every day. So you got to have belief in our products. Number two, you have to have belief in our company. When that starts to shake, when that starts to get uh, fuzzy, your business will start to get fuzzy. You have to have belief, 100% conviction in our, in our company, in Carl's vision, in his mission, in our mission. You have to understand that what we do is bigger than you. It's bigger than your challenge group. It is, it is doing something. It's a movement. It's doing something that's going to impact thousands and thousands and thousands of people because you decided to change. 
that people on your social media or in person at your kids' schools are looking at you and saying, man, if she can do it, I got to do something too. And that your kids that are watching you work out every day and get in shape and eat healthy and measure your food and drink your shake are saying, you know, mom and dad think this is important. You know, I might like to eat my candy and my Cheetos, but I know it's important and they are more likely to be active adults than not if you have set that example. Hands down. Hands down. So you have to believe in Beachbody and all that we stand for. And how do you get that belief? There's a few ways. Number one is you have to go to events. If it wasn't for me stepping into that first Super Saturday, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe as much as I do because that was the day that it was like, I was zinged. I was zinged by Beachbody that day. You have to show up to events and make them non-negotiable. You have to go to summit. You have to push to go to uh, events like the new leaders conference, because when you surround yourself with the executives, when you surround yourself with coaches that are not on your team that you don't know, but are just as passionate as you, something happens to you and you change and you realize that you want more and that you can have a bigger effect on people and all that happens at events. So make that non-negotiable and that's how you gain belief in Beachbody. Number three is you have to believe in your team. And your team, I'm talking about, you know, your, your entire Uplines organization, but also in, in your coaches and whether that's one coach right now or it's two or you have a, you're a diamond or whatever that is, believe in your people and never stop believing, right? And there's going to be times that you get tested. Oh, man, I would just revert back to, my, to the good old days when I signed up. My first coach that I ever sponsored quit. The first bag of Shakeology. I ever sold was returned my fourth week in the business I had a negative 29.99 so you got to just press forward (laughs) you just got to keep going and have put your blinders on and say please lord like get me through this dark time because it will you will I mean use your use Jillian as an example right she got through the dark time um, and it will you will get through it So you have to believe in your team. And a lot of it stems from being uh, an active participant. I'm a big Tony Robbins girl. I love all his events. I've gone to leadership. I've gone to UPW. And he says, play full out when you go to his events. And you'll hear it if you listen to his podcast or you see his videos. He always asks, whether it's him or Joseph McClendon, whoever is leading at the moment, they say, you are required to play full out. And I, and, and, and I understand what that means. At the end of those four days, I'm like jumping on the chairs. I'm like dancing and shaking my butt. And, and guess what? That's where the change happens, right? When you are free, when you don't care what so-and-so thinks about you dancing on the chairs and shaking your butt. The same thing is when you're part of this team, play full out, participate in your team page. Don't be afraid to give shout outs to people people. Don't be afraid to post, um, you know, uh, let's go to dinner or let's go have coffee and and get together and, and become part of the community and then build your own community. When you are able to build a community, that's when a team is born. That's when teams start moving forward. That's when culture is born, which we all know is so critically important. So participate, participate, play full out on your team. Um, and, and, and be the force, right? Be the one that takes the initiative. So you got to, let's re- review belief in the products, belief in Beachbody, belief in your team, and then the most important one, can anybody guess what it is? Anybody? Belief in you. Uh, yes, that's the most important belief um, that you have to have. It is where the magic happens. And it is the hardest one. Can everybody agree with that? Yeah, that's the hardest one because you can work out and drink your shake. You can participate on your team. You can attend events, but it's the work on the inside that matters the absolute most. So where does belief in yourself come from? It comes from your personal development, right? It comes from owning that. It comes from just 
completely throwing yourself into into a book or in, in, in audio going to live events i'm a huge believer in that in attending live pd events search them out in your neighborhoods the other day i was uh, not the other day i was sometime last year was it in january i believe I was like, I was notified that John Maxwell was going to be speaking at a church about an hour and a half, an hour and a half away. Guess what I did? Ooh, I took a bunch of my team with me and we went up to that church in West Palm Beach and we watched John Maxwell speak. That event was crazy good. And it was like $25. It doesn't have to be a $3,000 investment. Find these events. John Maxwell talks at churches everywhere all over the United States. There's a bunch of other ones that you can attend. My first one was Danny Johnson. When I was a diamond coach making like $200 a week, maybe if I look back, um, I, I always revert to what Janelle Summers says that you sometimes have to invest in stuff before you can afford it so that one day you can. I love that. I'm totally paraphrasing that. And that was me when I went to Danny Johnson. I was still practicing law. I wasn't making a ton of money with Beachbody to be able to like cover that, you know, like in a week's pay. I took a couple of my paychecks to be able to fly to Dallas to attend, to buy my ticket to Danny Johnson. But that event changed the game. That was the day that I said, oh my God, I know why personal development is so important. Like my mind went, Poof, because I realized for a long time that I pushed personal development aside because I thought I had it all figured out. I, I was fine. I'm fine. I'm successful. I got through law school. I'm pretty good at that. You know, like I didn't think I had anything to work on and boy, was I wrong. It opened my mind to this whole other side of me that I never, it was like push down, push down, push down. And so these things are important and that's what, that's where you get the belief. You know, you have to, you have to believe in yourself. You got to wake up every day and, and tell yourself you are confident, you are brave, you are bold, you are a leader in order to have that passion to post on social media and make yourself vulnerable and be vulnerable and get on the phone with people. I remember when I first became a coach, I was like, I didn't want to, I would like not want to get on the phone. And you have to break that because I, I just shared on the call that I was on um, at eight this business is built on relationships and communication. So you have to step out of your comfort zone and getting out of your comfort zone means you got to believe in yourself in order to do that. So just dig into personal development. Don't take that for granted. Don't think it's some voodoo science. It really does help. Um, and I will say lastly, um, for in, when I talk about believing in yourself is find a success partner. Be because there's a lot of times in this business where you're going to be tested. Your will is going to be tested. You're going to doubt. And I'm not even going to get into the why. You guys don't understand why that's so important. But you're, you're going to be tested. Um, your vision will be tested. Your belief systems will be tested. You'll get injured. God forbid. <laughs> Look at Jillian, you know, her, and her accident. Um, belief in the products could have been tested during that time because she couldn't physically do the workouts, right? So there's going to be times like that where things get rough and a success partner, and, and of course your why, but a success partner is a good person to keep you grounded into your belief systems, into believing in yourself. It could be your spouse. It could be your best friend. You don't even have to be a coach, but have a sounding board. Have someone that to bounce ideas with to get you back on the right track so that you you keep moving forward. And I'll end with talking about the vital process. Um, all of you know, all that I'm going to say about the vital process um, means nothing if you don't have the three belief, the four beliefs that I talked about, right? Because it, it, you're going to attract the wrong people. Um, you're not going to attract the right amount of people in order to even get them through the vital process. And a lot of the, a lot of what I talked about um, causes the vital process to even work, right? And so the vital process is start your customer on a challenge pack, right? So you have to attract them. That's where the belief comes into play. Um, get them results in their challenge group, convert them to coach, and then duplicate. That is what the vital process is. 
I will share this story with you and I think it highlights why the vital process is absolutely critical to build a solid foundation in your business. The first leadership event that I went to as a Beachbody coach was, oh my God, it was a long time ago. It was in 2012, I believe. And I will never forget Jeff Hill gets on stage and he starts sharing statistics and it says they, they actually shared the vital process during that. They shared this graph where it said customer, the customer becomes an advocate, the advocate becomes like a raving fan and then the raving fan becomes a coach, right? So they shared like this little person walking up these steps and it, it it made sense to me, right? I was a customer first. My sister was a customer first. So I understood that process well. But then he said this, he said 70% of diamond coaches are custom were customers first. And I said, aha. So if you want to duplicate, then we got to get, if you want to duplicate and build coaches that hit success of and advance in rank, then not always is it going to be this way, but the majority of the time, you want them to be a customer first. And sometimes we get blinded, right, by like shiny things and trying to hit certain things, hit emerald, advance to diamond, and we lose sight of the vital process, but we're always reminded of it, right? When that person goes inactive, when that person pauses their shakeology, we're always reminded, we're always knocked over the head with the vital process, like, I told you. I told you to do the vital process. So my, my call to action is really sometimes you got to slow down to speed up and you want to take your customers through this process. So take an inventory of where you are right now. Where's your pain point? Is it hitting success club? Cause that's number one, you know, we have to attract customers. So if that's your issue, if that's where your pain point is, then how about you? We take a look at your belief system. Number one, number two, Let's start talking about what your intentions are, what your activity level is. Like if your intention is to hit success, of, is your activity matching that intention? Are you doing the sufficient amount of invites? Are you posting on social media? Are you starting challenge groups? It's one thing to post on social media. There's another thing to actually do call to action posts. Like I'm starting a challenge group or I'm hosting a free group to give you that network in order to hit success. Of. So take an inventory of where you are there. If it's getting results, do you have a hard time getting your customers results? I did. I'm very honest about that. For like a good two years in my business, I don't know what I was doing, but my challenge groups sucked and nobody was getting results. Like they would buy the product, they would post for three days and then they would disappear. Do you guys sometimes, does that happen? They realize that what I was saying before they even purchase matters. Before they even purchased, I needed to be a little bit more stern with them. Like, I need, if you're going to get results, you're going to show up every day. You have to put in the work. I made it very clear, even now to this day, I always, I have to, you have to make it clear that there is work involved here and that you want them to get results, but you can't want it more than they do and have these conversations with them, get them on the phone and, and send them a welcome email that reiterates this. My welcome email re reiterates the need for work. I even talk about personal development, right? Because my end goal is for them to become coaches. So as a challenger, think about involving personal development into your challenge groups so that they're not only working on themselves physically, but they're also working on themselves mentally. So take a look at your challenge group process and see if maybe that needs tweaking then, okay, are we converting? Are we converting our customers to coaches? Are you giving yourself the opportunity to do so? You know, are we hosting biz ops? Are we presenting the business opportunity? Are we doing business opportunity posts? Are we sharing how Beachbody has changed our lives on social media? Are we empowering our challengers to take a look at this business opportunity call, right? So how are you doing in converting are you being are you are you speaking about the business opportunity with passion so that people want to join or are you hesitant about it don't hesitate i always go back to this and this happens to all new coaches i always ask them has beachbody changed your life have you been positively impacted by beachbody hands down the answer is always yes right not your head if beachbody has positively changed your life so go and tell people <laughs> 
Go and tell people. Stop being afraid of what the answer is going to be. You know that if they say no, that's, that's, I feel bad. I feel bad. But if they say yes, then you have a new coach on your team, right? You know that Beachbody has the ability to completely change your life, whether it's in fitness and health, whether it's being part of a community, whether it's being having a, an income, a secondary income or a full-time income, whether it's being traveling, whatever it is, if it's positively impacted you, go share it right? And get good at that because that is our business is sharing the business opportunity is getting people to love our products because that's what makes us different, right? We got to, we got to love the products and then we got to make them coaches. And then last but not least is this concept of duplication, which is not easy, but it's the most rewarding because that's when you have coaches that come on board that get it right? That have that same level of commitment that you do, that want change, that have vision, that want to work the business. And so when you, when you bring a coach on board, how are you getting them started? Let's talk about that. You know, are you giving them, let's say a new coach email, new coach welcome email, or maybe a new coach guide that kind of goes through in simple terms, um, success club and advancing in rank and all these things that you know, what, put yourself in the shoes of a brand new coach. What do they need to know? They need to know how to get into their back office. So you have this on a guide, a simple guide on how to do that. You don't have to waste time on the phone going, go to the COO, click here, click here, click it. You don't have to do that. Write it down for them, right? Because the whole purpose of this is to have an easy system for them to duplicate. So if you have this whole complicated thing, guess what? It's going to paralyze people. So keep it very simple. And then when you get on the phone with them, which by the way, guys, you have to get on the phone with them is talk about, you know, what their goals are and then give them the step-by-step -step of how they're going to accomplish it. Right. It always starts with success. Them. You don't have to say you have to sponsor 8,500 coaches for you to hit your income goal. You say, okay, I understand that you want that, but this is how it starts. It starts with success club. And then you say, okay, this is my plan on hitting success. Club. So February is coming and I plan on starting a challenge group on February 15th, right after Valentine's day. I find that that's probably a good day. It'll give me two weeks or so to announce this group to, to, and, and you tell them what you're thinking, right? Transfer what is going on in your head as a business owner, transfer that to your new coaches and they will duplicate more. By, by the way, guys, I didn't do this for a long time. I took it for granted that I had to learn this business on my own because I did. My sister and I had no one really to help us. So when people would come on board, I would get on the phone and say, yeah, 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 let's do this. But then I wouldn't really show them how I would just say go. And that doesn't really work for like 90% of the people. You know what I mean? So just think about what your strategy is for hitting success of and then transfer that to your new coaches. That creates duplication and it's an easy way to create duplication, yeah? Okay, that's my spiel, Jill. <laughs> that was like, I have a boatload of, of notes here and I think like w when we talked about the call and I thought to myself, well, are these really related belief in the vital process? But I think that they're like super related, right? Because if you, have belief that's sort of like how you get people th through the vital you know what I mean like that's that's how people start the vital process is my belief. so um I really loved mm -hmm. how you put those together um I'm super excited I definitely have some work to do um I think that your note about like being stricter with challengers is good I am like someone that does programs like program after program shares results like that's just how I built my business um, and I am not as, I think, I think I need to be stricter. So that was an awesome takeaway for me. Does anyone have any questions? Are you willing to do questions? I think you're frozen. I know I keep going in and out. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you cool? My back? Questions that people okay. have? Them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Nothing. And if you don't feel like talking, you can use the question. chat. Who is that? Jen? Stephanie. I always have a question. Hey, I'm Stephanie. <laughs> Hi, go ahead. 
Um, so one thing you said, one thing you said that I thought was interesting was sometimes you got to slow down to speed up. Mm -hmm. What it, can you like elaborate yeah. on that a little? Um, like, sometimes, well, number one, you have to tailor your approach to every single per person. You can't have this cookie cutter way of doing something. So some people, you might have to take a step back um, and, and take them through, um, you know, getting them started a little bit slower, whether it's a challenge group or a coach. Some people will go a little bit faster, right? But m the point of that was basically saying the vital process kind of forces us to realize that getting results and falling in love with Beachbody and our programs are very, very important. And sometimes that might take a little bit longer than what you want, right? But the story of that customer is important. It's important for you as their coach. It's important for them as a potential future coach, right? If they don't reach their potential in doing the 21 day fix or T25 or whatever and getting amazing results because they were rushed through this process of becoming a coach and then go, go, go then it might hinder their forward moving pro progress, which will eventually hinder your forward moving progress. So um, tailor your approach and then sometimes, re you know, realize that sometimes you need to slow down with some people and that eventually will pay off in the long term. Yeah. Make sense. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Steph. Anyone else? I do. Um, so I, really like that what you had mentioned about being um, tough with your challengers up front. Um, I find that I can get tons of challengers because I'm sharing my story and I'm a big girl who's no longer as big. And so that gets people very interested. But the idea of them, they get it, they get in for a day and then it's like, boom. And then when they ignore me, <laughs> that drives me insane that they won't like, and it's like, I'm not getting to sell anything or buy anything because I already bought it. But um, how, like, what are some things that you say to give them a little tough love in the beginning, even before they commit, where you don't right. scare them, <laughs> but you right, right. get you them don't thinking. Want, yeah, you, you absolutely don't want to scare them, but I, I'm sure your testimony is sufficient to share, like, how much work it takes you got to instill the vision in them and that this isn't a quick fix. Like perfect example. I had a call today with, and this is actually an interesting thing that I'm doing. It's the first time I do this. So funny that you mentioned, this. um, a man, uh, so the, the wife contacted me and she's like, I'm worried about my husband. I said, okay. She goes, can you talk to him? I said, sure. I get him on the phone. And of course, like a typical man, he's not listening to anything I'm saying, but as I'm speaking, like my wheels are turning. And I, with him, I realized that he's done all these crazy diets to lose weight. Hasn't worked. He's pre-diabetic, has every red flag thrown up, like help, help, help. And I realized that I need to slow down with him. So Stephanie, this is like a perfect example of that too. And I said, all I want you to do is drink Shakeology. That's it. That is absolutely the only thing that I want you to do is to drink Shakeology. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Seven days a week? Yes. And I get his name. I go, if you do that for 30 days straight, you are going to see a shift in the way you feel, the way you look, everything. Can you do that? He's like, yes, I can do that. I'm like, okay. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to start implementing about three days a week exercise. Can you do, can you commit to that? Can you work out maybe one time during the week and then maybe on Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, yeah, I could do it. So I, I literally like gave him a simple plan, but kept in that process of, of doing this. I'm like, because I need you to realize that this is not going to happen in two months or three months. I, I told him, I'm like the damage that you've done to your body for like 20 years is not going to be erased by a month or two months of activity. This is going to be years of you doing this. Do you understand that? Yes, I can understand. And, and do you understand that this is the only way to do it? Diet and exercise or healthy, I hate saying more diet, but healthy eating and exercise. Yes. Okay. So I, I basically laid it out for him. And so if I hope not, God forbid, he were to quit four or five months later, I know that I did my best in helping him realize that 
that this is not something that you can just snap your fingers and change. You know what I mean? So that's an extreme example. I, I, he, they are buying a all access challenge pack because what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct like simple workout calendars where I'm going to do like P90 and then a yoga, something really simple because he will quit if I tell him he has to do a program from start to finish. He will. So I'm going to do something completely off the, off my beaten path with him. But I told him straight up that this is going to take time time and it's going to take take work that no you're not going to cancel shakeology right after you know you receive it i used to do that like you know just by the time you can cancel what, what was that doing to that person's mentality i was giving them the out i was giving them the permission to quit no we have to up our game we have the solution so i'm not saying be mean or being a drill sergeant but get them thinking that this is going to be hard that this is going to take time and that they need to not only work on themselves physically but maybe even start reading books and listening to audio and get them into personal development suggest a book you know if, if a customer buys an all-access challenge pack and you're earning a 70 dollars commission is spending 12 dollars on a personal development book to to help them worth it I would say for a lot of people, it probably would be, you know what I mean? Reinvesting back in them, um, stuff like that you can do. I can send Jillian my like welcome email and it, it kind of shows you what I say to them. It's a little bit long. I really wanted to shorten it, but it does say like, based on our conversations, you understand <laughs> that you are going to um, do X, Y, Z. So get people on the phone too. I think that's a big deal. Um, and that's it. I love it. Thank you. Use the app as well. The app is really easy to follow up with people. I love the My Challenge Tracker app. It's so good. Yeah, I agree with that. I was like not using it in the very beginning and then I started using it. And I love like the thing you can just send a message to everyone, like click down and it goes out. Um, it just makes I it. do it every week. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. It makes it so much easier. It's so good. Um, instead of like, you know, individual messages and stuff. And I don't know. I just, yeah. that was awesome. Anyone have anything else they want to ask? You. Christina's like, you know. Hi, Christina. Hey, Chrissy. Um, it, kind of, it kind of piggybacks off of Katie's question, but my challengers do not engage in the challenge groups. Like, the one challenger or two challengers that I have that ever engaged in my challenge groups are my coaches and they're on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody just engages and it's frustrating to me because I feel like, um, like I'm posting and I'm showing up there every day and you know, I'm asking, how are you guys doing? So do you post specific things in your groups to get them to engage more? Like, how do you get people engaged? Because I feel like when they're engaging in the groups, they get those results better. Yeah, I agree 100%. And I think that's the beauty of the health vet. Um, the health vet gets people like to, to post, you know, to log their stuff. Um, so I, I, because I, in September, realized that the health vet was a game changer for engagement, I kind of keep those rules in play for my challenge group where they have to log a workout at least what is it three times a week a shake five times a week with the pictures and if they do that because it's so easy to track you guys because it tells you how many times they've logged you can send them a little prize you know so you can incentivize your challengers so i've kept those rules in place chrissy i'm going to tell you does it work all the time no it doesn't but it does show you who's invested and that's who you take through the vital process so don't completely think it's a wash, like, oh, my challenge, like, just keep working, keep tweaking. Um, my challenge groups are highly automated. Like, we just push out basically, you know, the Monday, the morning motivation post, then a recipe, and then at night is a, a night, like, recap, and it'll ask them a question, like, or not a question, it's a few words with a blank. So today I felt blank, and they have to answer that. Um, I'm proud that I am blank and for 30 days, one of those goes out every night and people love to answer those. 
Like I'm not going to quit because blank. And then people start re So that I, has been uh, highly effective and it, it goes out around nine o'clock at night. So that that's when there's kind of downtime. Kids are probably in bed, not my kids, but their kids might be in bed. Um, and they're more likely to, to scroll and take time to comment. So maybe if you implement something like that, I will tell you that between the hours of like two and seven, don't expect anyone to comment yeah. <laughs> or engage. So have like some morning motivation and then, you know, do a night cap at a night recap, um, towards the end of the night. And maybe, maybe you'll get more engagement. That way. Freaking genius. <laughs> Thank you. So create, why don't you guys as a team create, the list of those like day one it's going to say this day two is going to say this and then you can create the little night recap image or whatever and you guys can all use the same thing do you schedule those all on the app yep okay yeah, yeah. that's that's the beauty of the app too guys i know that you can schedule on facebook with like buffer but you have to pay and i'm cheap yeah. <laughs> so on the app it's totally free no, to no, no, but not only is it free one you've done it one time yes. the next group it's just like boom 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 you know what i mean it's like the All easiest your thing you can just so use the app. it's amazing yep and here's another here's a tip that um my, my assistant who's a she's a coach um figured this out let's say jillian you have a rock star challenge group and you have great engaging posts in that challenge group um, you can make me an admin of your group and then I can take your post and put them in my group. So let's say you have a new coach that, you know, wants to start a challenge group, but doesn't know how to figure out how to, you know, what to post in their challenge group. You can make them an admin in your group and then they can take your post and schedule them in their challenge group and it helps them. So that's a tip. We figured this out the other day and I'm like, what? And so everybody was like logging into each other's accounts and stealing posts and stuff. So um, that's, that's a, a tip that maybe you guys can share with your new coaches to help them with their challenge groups. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess that would work. But yeah, I've been, I, this is, this is the second mm -hmm. group I've been running and I've been running my new coach training in there because I can also schedule the posts, which is much easier and they're very similar every month yep yep I agree. um anything else you guys nothing okay well christina i want to thank you again you're like a celebrity um <laughs> i was like when you responded to my post i was like what like who um, so all i could think was was the girl who doesn't eat vegetables she doesn't yeah eat a single vegetable that's me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i can't You're very welcome it was my um i can't wait to return the favor You're to really your welcome. team um and you know yes yeah and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your wednesday yes good night thank you guys great talking to you